Hello, YouTube. Happy holidays to all of you and Merry Christmas to everybody that celebrates it. It is Christmas 2016. I made it. I finally made it. I'm going to open my presents really soon. I know it's it's almost one o'clock, but I have to wait for the family to come. Uh, basically, I just want to do a quick review of a movie I saw last night, which is a classic from 1983. It's A Christmas Story, the original masterpiece from Bob Clark that gets aired 24 hours a day, even right now on TBS to give a 24-hour marathon of it. What can I say? This movie's a classic. It has iconic characters, Ralphie and the old man and the mother and Schwartz and Flick and all these other characters and Ralphie's little brother. Uh, it's a funny movie. You know, it's aged very well. It looks like a film from the 40s, but it, it was made in the early 80s. Um, it's well acted. It's really well written. You know, the whole premise of that Ralphie is a, a boy with nerdy glasses that's nine years old that wants to get a Red Ryder BB gun you know, air rifle that, you know, so you could shoot things outside. And there's iconic lines like fragile, that must be Italian, or uh, you'll shoot your eye out, you'll shoot your eye out. And also Gene Shepard's um, uh, narration is a lot of fun to listen to. You know, it's just, it's a nice narrative that works well. And, and screw the sequel. I don't care about that 2012 sequel that came out. I'm never watching it. I've seen reviews. It's horrible. This is the one to watch during the holidays. I saw it last night. I laughed my ass off. You know, the uh, Zach Ward is the uh, villain, um, with the uh, the the bully with the fr uh, freckles and the and the you know br braces, and he's you know attacks Ralphie and his friends. You know, he sh uh, scares them with his little pal. You know, little mini me bully. And, of course, Ralphie beats the crap out of him because he just, he can't, he throws a snowball in his face. Ralphie gets pissed and he just loses it and it starts beating the hell out of him. Like, yeah, enough is enough. When you've had enough, you reach your boiling point, you just attack somebody. That's what happens sometimes. But, hey, it's a kid's movie. and But for a PG film in the 80s, it, it has a, it's very risky for, for the things that they got away with. Like, nowadays, it would not show blood in a PG movie or Certain PG-13 movies, they don't even show blood. But uh, the movie is a lot of fun. You know, it's 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 just such a classic. I watch it every year. I never miss it. And, uh, you know, it's it's one of Bob Clark's best films. I mean, he had a hell of a cast. Peter Billingsley and Darren McGavin and Melinda Dillon and everybody else. Really good cast. Uh, you know, you got the insane Santa. You got the girl with the, with the, with that, that, uh, with the glasses that screams when she's on Santa's lap. You have, you know, uh, Flick putting his tongue onto the pole. There's just a lot of iconic scenes. And they can never remake this movie now, you know, theatrically. Because you can never capture it. They tried a sequel and it failed. But uh, this movie will live forever. I love this Christmas movie. It's a masterpiece from my childhood. I watched it as a kid. I love it as an adult. It's aged well. And uh, everything about it is just screams Christmas. Problems with it? Well, there's some dated things in it. I mean, they're using a radio in the movie. I know it's supposed to be set in the 40s, but no one uses radio anymore unless it's satellite. And, you know, but a lot of things have changed. It's definitely dated when it comes to the uh, the technology they had at the time. But uh, it's still a movie that looks great. There's no shaky cam. It's edited well. It's in focus. And it's a movie that's better than any Christmas movie that came out this year. Hands down, because it's a classic. Just like Home Alone and Jingle All the Way and the first Santa Claus from Disney and, uh, you know, Christmas Carol, Nutcracker. This is just one of those Christmas stories that's going to live forever. And Hollywood, don't touch this. You can't do better than this movie. Don't even try. It's a Christmas classic. And a classic cannot be repainted and, and sold as something new because it just doesn't work. Sorry. But this movie is excellent. Watch it with your family they're giving it for like another like i don't know eight hours so if you have tv you can watch it or you can stream it online it's a great movie i recommend it it's a great christmas movie i'm gonna have a great christmas i know um i'm just waiting a couple of more hours so i can open my presents i already opened that uh, pokemon sun version i love it i think it's just as good as the other versions i played x and alpha sapphire so it's been pretty good i mean considering that this year's been rough for me I want to enjoy this day, and I'm going to enjoy New Year's Eve when I get to that. So thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting on my videos. You guys are awesome. I wouldn't do these videos without you because, uh, you know, you guys make me strong, especially through this rough year, this rough leap year. 
but at least next year's not a leap year, so it'll be a shorter year, and I can spend more time on YouTube. Instead of bitching, I'll do more creative stuff because I have a lot in store for 2017. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Merry Christmas to all.